Welcome Cancer, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using Soul Truth, Seven Energies and the Energy Oracle deck. Okay, so Cancer, let's have a look at Soul Truth here. Three cards for Cancer please. Three cards. I don't like how that one came out. One more card for Cancer please. Okay, all right, so what if it isn't true? Cancer, we've also got what am I looking for outside myself that is already within me? And do I surround myself with people who lift me up? Okay, so Cancer, the thing you are telling yourself right now, the concrete reasons why you think you don't belong you can't do it, you won't get there, you are not enough, or it's not for you. What if it wasn't true? Okay, so the action that you need to take here, Cancer, is this. It's time for a soul chat. Close your eyes, put your hands on your heart, and ask the wise one within you. What if it isn't true? What else might be possible? Journal your answer. What lie do I need to let go of to reach my soul's truth? Yes, Cancer. Okay, so what is going on here, Cancer? What is going on? Okay. Action. The sun. Take action. Right, take action. Um, I feel like actually this is, um, I'm feeling like action on your dark side. I And I, that just came out so wrong. On your shadow self. Shedding light on the shadow self. Yeah, because this is what is holding you back here. Those thoughts that creep in, even if you go, oh no, 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 I can't think those. Be, I can't think those. Be positive. Be positive, right? Those thoughts are still there creeping forth to be looked at okay so don't ignore them don't positive way your th don't positive think your way out of everything okay because they keep coming back and ultimately cancer that may be your unconscious belief okay so it's really important to bring these to the conscious mind to have a little chat with find out what why they're there okay we also have the sun here as well which we will get into but let's have a look at action here tell me more about action for cancer please okay oh, i love this i love this okay the, uh, this is the call of the muse okay and um and i feel like this is about this um Your soul, right? The soul within. This truth of who you are. This real... Um, it's about letting out your authentic self. Okay, without a care in the world. Without worrying what anyone's going to think, say or do about it. Actually expressing yourself fully and utterly. Okay, sort of positioning yourself on the earth um in a way that is uniquely you okay um and then we have into me i see i love this i absolutely adore this look at this into me i see yeah and this is what i was talking about right with looking at the shadow self really going within and seeing the truth inside of you right because when you see the truth there won't be anything to hide to let out anymore because you're being honest with yourself fully and utterly and you'll be able to bling yourself up and sit as you please and walk as you please and own it yeah can say yeah you do that okay the sun um this is i feel like yeah this is the result of this right sitting in the bird bath and basking in the sun yeah um soaking up the the rays from the sun really getting creative here letting that out letting letting this creativity be seen rather than hiding it away okay so two more card, two cards sorry for the sun please 
one more card for the sun for Cancer. Divine Matrix. Divine Matrix and Smoke and Mirrors. Interesting. Wow. They're similar looking cards, sort of. Sort of. But not either. Okay, Smoke and Mirrors. Yes, yeah, see, the Smoke and Mirrors is holding you back from seeing the Divine Matrix and how you actually fit into that, okay? Um, because Smoke and Mirrors, all this stuff that you're telling yourself, right, um, about why you can't and you're not enough, you're not good enough, blah, blah, blah. This is holding you back from the divine matrix, which which you are a very important part of. Okay, and for some of you, you may not see how you're a part of that, but I guarantee you that you are. Okay. Um, so the next card here, what am I looking for outside of myself that is already within me? Are you looking for more guidance, a confidence, peace, wisdom, love, or something else? When we search outside ourselves, we can become overwhelmed, frustrated, and never feel quite good enough. It's time to go inward, to find everything you seek. All the answers you need lie within you. Okay, so the action that you need to take. Breathe in your favorite essential oil. Inhale deeply into your belly. Drop your shoulders and spend some time hanging out with your soul today. Ask for what you need and be ready for the answers. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's have a look. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this for cancer, please. What is it called again? Looking outside of yourself for what you need. Okay. Oh, okay, interesting. Wow, it's a different spin on things here, Cancer. We have Angel of Love. And we have Man Holding a Heart. Angel of Love. See, this is, this is real interesting. I know like so much is coming through here. First off, this could be about you needing to heal your heart. Um, I just wonder if there's something igniting this passion within you. I need more about this. I need more about this. But I do want to say about looking outside of ourselves, right? Are you looking to be fulfilled by someone else outside of yourself rather than giving it to yourself be mindful of that very very mindful cancer because we need to give ourselves the love and the nurturing and the respect that we actually desire in order to receive that okay no one can give that to us um and well put it this way I'm sorry that was worded wrong We can't rely on other people to give that to us, to fulfill a void within us. We need to give it to ourselves before we can open ourselves up to allow someone truly in to give it to us. Because unless we're giving it to ourselves and we're open to receive that from ourselves, there is no way in the world we can be open to receive it from someone else. And furthermore, there is no way in the world we can then reciprocate that love to someone else because we're not giving it to ourselves in the first place. So it's not there to give. You can't give away what you do not have. Okay, so this is very important. We have tender embrace here. Okay, and this is the tender embrace of another. All right, when you have this tender embrace with somebody else, feel it in your heart. Feel the love within you. Your love. Let that boil over. Practice that every day. Give yourself a hug if there's no one to hug. Okay? Like this, right? Beyond the ordinary, this person giving himself the hug, feeling the love, feeling it. It's coming from your heart. Feeling the love for you, that you have for you, as though you are madly in love with yourself. Right? Let the love affair that you desire begin with you. Okay? Man holding the heart. Yes. Let's have a look further at this. Two of 
two cards for man holding a heart. Cancel, please. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, so Earth Magic, this is about you needing to ground yourself. Okay, it could be that you've met somebody. Um, it could be an existing relationship. Um, grounding is needed. This connection. There's a need for connection here. Okay, so if you've just met someone and you're floating on air and you're on cloud nine, you need to ground yourself. If it's an existing relationship, it could be reigniting the connection between the two of you. Because ultimately, if he's the one who really has your heart, or she's the one who really has your heart, right? Doesn't matter that it's a man. It could be, you know, whatever your circumstances are. Um, then is it not worth? working to have the connection reconnection made you know so yeah just find out where you stand on that how you feel about that you know but i want to say regarding this when you when you ground yourself regardless of anyone else in your life okay connect in with the magic of the earth okay and and feel that pulsating feel the aliveness feel the love Okay, send it into the earth and let it be reciprocated by the earth for yourself. Okay, birds of a feather. Okay, what's the saying? Birds of a feather stick together, right? This is about your people finding your people. And when when you're truly loving yourself and, and actually doing that um, allows you to become your authentic self because you don't need to apologize for your existence and who you are um you will attract your your people okay so do i surround myself with people who lift me up perfect way to follow on from that the people with whom we surround ourselves determine who we become does your tribe fill you up do they believe in you do they help you step into your greatest potential? Okay, so the action. Make a desire list of the type of people with whom you wish to surround yourself and clarify if there is anyone in your life who no longer serves you. Can you love them from a distance? Hmm, interesting. Cancer, interesting. Okay, so let's have a look here. Tell me more about this for cancer, please. Magician in the mirror. Magician and the mirror. Interesting. Magician and the mirror. I feel like I actually want to read this from the book. Well, hang on. No, before I do, I want to get more about this. I mean, this could be about you creating whatever it is that you want to create, right? And maybe that's by making that list, right? I do still want to read it from the book, though. And we have the Oracle's Gift and Quietening the Mind. Yeah, see, this is about this creation. What is it that you want to create? What do you want to grow, right? Really, really looking at that, especially when it comes to romance, because this door to romance, it seems quite prevalent in this reading about the romantic side of things. But let me have a look. Magician and the Mirror. Oh, I wonder if this is about looking at yourself and what is the people that are around you and that's showing you what it is that you're believing in yourself, maybe. I don't know if I put that the right way, but anyhow, let's have a read. Uh, magician, oh, where is it? This is not in alphabetical order. Magician, oh, maybe it's 53. Oh, yep, sweet. Um, it's in numerical order. 169, it's the very last one. Okay, magician and the mirror. Knowing and using your true power. This card upright represents the culmination of your personal and spiritual power at this time. In the magician's left hand is the flame of passion and action. See, and we had action here, right? Yeah, we had action there and then before I was talking about someone igniting your passion. Hubba hubba. Okay, in, a, a little, in his right hand is a vortex of water and the light of reflection 
this highly beneficial card is telling you that you are the magician and within your grasp are the amazing forces of earth and spirit. The water is the energy of yin and the power of spirit and clarity of thought. The flame is the energy of yang, bringing direction and creativity. Together, they give you the magnificent magic of transformation. The mirror stands beside the magician, reflecting the outer world's response to your choice to use or dismiss. The true power that you have. Its silver reflection reveals the future in the mist on the horizon, ready to be magically formed. When you receive the magician upright, you are put on notice that an important and powerful time is at hand. You are the alchemist of your life. And just as an alchemist turns base metals into gold, you are now able to transform your difficulties into great blessings. This is true in every area of your life. Claim your power and embrace your intentions in your heart and in your daily life. Direct your destiny and the mists of the future will clear into brilliant reality. Very nice. There's something at the back here. Affirmation. I have all the power I need to, cre to create the destiny I desire. Magic happens when I live in consciousness and my eternal truth. Love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, so... Next card here, Door to Romance, baby. Anyway, okay. Sorry. Getting a little bit carried away here. Cancer, two cards for Door to Romance for Cancer, please. So you could be even taking yourself out on a date and buying yourself some flowers. Loving yourself. Healing the hearts, healing the hearts, yeah, healing past hurts, right? This is the door to opening up for romance to come into your life, whether you're with somebody or not. Opening up, right, and bearing fruit, yeah? This was just like the magician, right? What do you want to grow? What kind of fruit do you want the, the orchard that you're planting to bear? You know, really considering this. Who do you want to plant that with? You know, what, what kind of orchard are you growing with the person that you are with or that you want to be with? What kind of orchard do you want to grow um, so that you can make sure they are on the same page as you? Because if they just want to plant the weeds of the orchard, is that what you really want? You know, what are they going to contribute? What are they going to sow? What are they giving? Or are you the one in the garden doing all the work and they're just letting you? You know, like, this is really, really important for you to consider, okay? Because it's sort of like your value, um, sorry, the value that you place upon yourself is evident in who surrounds you and how they contribute to your life, okay? So very important to consider here, Cancer. Okay, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.